Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be crocheting this cabled heirloom throw. This is a really fun crochet pattern. It is an intermediate to advanced crochet pattern, but if you know how to double crochet really well and front and back post double crochet ideally, you'll be able to make this blanket. Now it's made up of an easy four row repeat. So once you get those four rows down, you're kind of off to the races and you're just going to keep repeating the same thing over and over. Now I wanna go over with you a little bit of the uh, construction of this blanket so you can see here that there's several sets of cables so here I've placed an arrow where each set of cables are and each individual color um, corresponds to its like cable so for instance all of the black arrows indicate single strand cables so that's where we have just one stitch that's kind of overlapping itself and you can see that going all the way up the blanket above those black arrows again the purple arrows are going to match um, and those are the horn cables and we'll be learning how to do that it kind of mimics a knit horn cable and then the pink arrow is going to indicate our center mega cable um, which you may have seen in my how to crochet cable cables video over on my channel but we'll be going over all of this and that's kind of the big kahuna cable there in the middle that's the most difficult but it's really not as complicated as it looks. So going ahead and getting started, you're going to need some Lion Brand Woolies Thick and Quick or another level six bulky weight yarn. This is my favorite. It's got great stitch definition. It's very easy to see your stitches, um, especially for a project like this, you need something with good stitch definition. So again, this is a number six bulky weight yarn and this is going to recommend, um, I believe it says an N hook there, but we're going to be using a 12 millimeter. And my colorway I'm using is called Fisherman. It's kind of a creamy antique white um, and I really love this yarn I've used it for several different patterns in the past and I keep coming back to it it's just very squishy um, and cozy and it's just it's the perfect thing for this project now you're going to need six balls of the bonus bundle woolies thick and quick I'm using the bonus bundle and what that is is it's just a bigger ball of the same yarn you can get it from lionbrand.com I also have a kit for this pattern through lionbrand.com so it's got all of the yarn you need and a nice printed copy of the pattern. I will link that in the description box down below. It's also going to be linked in the blog post that is linked down below with the free written pattern on my blog. So if you want to grab a kit for this project, grab that from lionbrand.com and it's got all of the yarn you need. So go ahead and start with a slip knot. Again, this is my 12 millimeter hook. And we're going to start with a foundation chain here. Make sure that your chain is not too tight um, because that's definitely going to kink things up if you have a really tight foundation chain. So make sure your hands are relaxed um, and we're ready to have fun with this pattern. Now we're going to start with a chain and to begin you're going to need to chain 63. Now I would give you multiples for this and tell you you know if you want to make it bigger or smaller adjust from a throw size this is a standard throw size blanket um, I would give you those numbers but because there's several different kinds of cables that's really going to throw off how many chains you would need so if you wanted to make either a throw size blanket do what I'm doing or if you would like to make say a queen size blanket you could double this um, and just double that chain 63. Now we're going to double crochet in the fourth stitch from our hook and then in each stitch all the way across. So count to the fourth one, double crochet, and then just go ahead and double crochet in each stitch all the way down. Well, for this pattern, you are going to need to be very comfortable with double crochet. You should know how to double crochet in your sleep, and, you know, doing it with your eyes closed because that is all of this pattern is double crochet. I don't think that there is any other type of stitch before we get to the border that is not double crochet. So you can see how this should be looking. Um, you can see how your tension should be. Tension is not a big um, deal. That's why I don't have real specific gauge requirements just because for this pattern tension really isn't going to throw you off too much. So we're going to chain two and turn after we've double crocheted all the way down and now here is where we're going to start um, the fun stuff. So we're going to be starting our cabling here on row two. So this is the first row of our repeat. So what we're going to do first is we're going to double crochet in the very first stitch. Easy peasy. Regular double crochet. We're going to double crochet in the next stitch. Then in the third stitch, we're going to work a front post double crochet. So we can see how this should be looking with the first two. And in case you haven't worked front post before, it's been a while, 
We can see that these are lining up over the first two stitches from row one. We can identify that third stitch and we're going to front post around the post of the double crochet. So that's where you're inserting your hook. Make sure your tension is nice and loose pulling up from that front post. We don't think want things all tight um, and bunchy. So we should have that front post sitting there right on top. Now in the next stitch, double crochet. And in the next stitch, front post double crochet. So we can see how this first front post is kind of sitting up off of the fabric. It's kind of lifted and that's exactly what we want, but we don't want any puckering or kind of pulling at the other stitches. So after we've regular double crocheted, we're going to front post double crochet again. This is the very beginning of that first cable with those black arrows at the beginning of this video, our single strand cable. That's how we got it started with the first row of our repeat. So now we're going to double crochet in the next two stitches. And after we've done that, we're going to start our horned cable. So we can see how this should be looking so far. Very easy. Um, go ahead and just plugging right along here. We're going to start with our first horned cable. And the way that we're going to do that is we're going to skip two stitches. So each of the next two stitches we're going to skip and then we're going to front post triple crochet around each of the next two stitches. So skip two, there's our two. Here's the third one. We're going to front post triple crochet. So remember triple crochet is yarning over twice and then continuing like a double crochet. We're working around that post of the third stitch from our hook and there's our front post triple crochet. So at this point, this is what we should be looking like. We have our two front post double crochets here that are kind of straight. And throughout this pattern, any time that something is kind of crossing over or you're skipping something and working back or whatever, and it's crossing, it's not just a straight up and down cable, that's when we're going to be doing triple crochet versus double crochet. So front post triple crochet in the next stitch again. So at this point we've skipped two and now we've done two front post triple crochets in the third and fourth stitch from our hook and it should be kind of leaning over and looking kind of diagonal at this point. Now we're going to go back and double crochet in each of the two stitches that we skipped. So here are the two stitches we skipped and if we kind of stretch this out we can see the tops of those stitches here that are kind of open and gappy. Now what we're going to do is we're going to double crochet in the tops of these stitches and the way that we're going to do that is kind of cross over in the back. We're not going to work over on the front of this work. We're going to look at it from the back and we can see the tops of those two stitches and we're going to kind of backtrack and double crochet in the first of those two stitches, so the one on the right. And then we're going to double crochet in the second one. So now at this point we should have all of the stitches worked and nothing should have been skipped because we went back and worked those two. These are the next two that we worked the front post triple crochets over so we're not going to work those. And then in the next stitch we're going to double crochet. And that is one side of our horned cable. We're going to double crochet again in the next stitch and then we're going to work the other side of our horn cable. Now if we stop here and kind of look at things we can see that we have uh, our two front post triple crochets kind of leaning over the fabric but there's not a lot of gapping or open area. There's going to be a little bit with cabling but there shouldn't be a ton. So now moving on we're going to skip the next two stitches. One, two, and this time we're going to double crochet in the next two stitches. So the third and fourth from our hook, regular double crochet. This will kind of bunch things up because we're going to have that little gap there. But we're going to go back and fix that right now. So we have a little gap here from these two stitches we skipped. And now we're going to work back over the top of the fabric and front post triple crochet in each of those two skipped stitches starting with the first one, the one on the right. So again front post triple crochet working around uh, the kind of spine of the stitch there. So this should be kind of crossing over. The second one that we need to work might be a little hidden and pushed back so you just kind of have to finagle with it and find that second skipped stitch. Again front post triple crochet and I know that we need to triple crochet not double crochet here because this is kind of crossing over and it's going to lie kind of at a diagonal. Okay so here we have the horn cable done. We have those two double crochets in the middle and now we've worked these two and we're going to find the next stitch. We're going to double crochet in the next and double crochet in the next. 
So at this point we have done our first single strand cable, we've done our first horned cable, and now we need to work another single strand cable. If you remember back at the beginning of the video, those black arrows were all of the single strand cables and they kind of flank each of the other kinds of cables. They kind of go in between as we go along. So um, really we're only learning three different kinds of cables and we're just repeating some of them. So we're going to do the same thing we did at the very beginning of this row. We're going to work a front post double crochet, a regular double crochet, and then a front post double crochet. And that's what we're going to do for this entire row every time we need to do a single strand cable. And we're going to do that two more times um, before the end of this row. So we can see here that this matches with the two front post double crochets. And then we have the horned cable with the diagonal shapes in between. So we have the two here and the two here. Now we need to double crochet in each of the next two stitches before we move on with our uh, mega cable in the center of the work. So in each of the next two stitches, go ahead and work a double crochet. Okay, so now we are ready to move on to the kind of mega cable in the middle. Now this is going to be the most complex part of the blanket right here in the center, but if you've made it this far, you can do the mega cable in the middle. It's really a lot more intricate looking than it is to work up. So don't let it intimidate you. Just kind of take a breath here. Don't be too tense. Remember crochet is supposed to be fun. Um, and we're going to kind of tackle this thing together. So in each of the next three stitches, we are going to front post double crochet. Pretty straightforward front post double crochet all right next to each other here in each of the next three stitches. So there is two and there is three. Now we're going to next skip three stitches. So this is what it should be looking like. We should have three stitches there looking all kind of raised on top of the fabric. We're going to skip three, that's one, two, and three, and then front post triple crochet in each of the next three. So there's one, there's the first one, should be kind of crossing over here. We're going to work two more in each of the next two stitches. So there's the second, again, front post triple crocheting here because we're crossing over, we're skipping some stitches. And here's the third front post triple crochet. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go back into the three skipped stitches and we're going to work regular double crochets. Now if we pause for a second and kind of look at things here, we have our three front post double crochets, we skipped three, and then we have our three triple crochets kind of coming across here. Now we need to work in between these two sets of three to these three skipped stitches and what we're going to do is we're going to work kind of behind like we did on that horned cable and we're going to double crochet just like we did over here where we skipped some and then worked our front post triple crochets. We're going to go back into the skipped stitches and we're going to kind of look at it from behind so that we can get back there. So if we look back here we can see the tops of these three skipped stitches right here. There's one, two, and three. We're going to double crochet in the very first one, so the one furthest to the right double crochet. Make sure your tension's not too tight here. We want things to stretch out and uh, lay nicely. Double crochet in the second one and double crochet in the third. Now make sure that these are the three skipped stitches, not any of the other stitches because when you're looking at it from behind it can be a little bit confusing so just double check your work there. And we can see here now how this should be looking. So we have our front post triple crochets and then we went back and worked our double crochets. Now moving right along we're going to um, front post double crochet in each of the next three stitches. So one, two, and three here. Remember that's the next three stitches after we did those front post triple crochets. And that's just going to kind of mirror things at the beginning of this mega cable. We had our three front post double crochets and then that kind of cross with the triple crochets. Then we're going to end it with three more front post double crochets. And then that is it for row one of our uh, mega cable in the middle. So if you have gotten this far, you can finish row one really easily. We're just going to kind of repeat what we've done. 
So at this point, our middle mega cable would kind of have three on each side going straight and then the two sets of three crossing in the middle. And then that's going to change a bit in the next row, but if you can do this, I swear guys, don't let this overwhelm you. So we're gonna double crochet in each of the next two. So there's our two regular double crochets. Now we're going to repeat that single strand cable, um, which is what we're working on over here. And that, remember that's just a front post double crochet and then a regular double crochet another front post double crochet. If you go back to the beginning of this video and you look at that graphic with all of the cables and those colored arrows, it will really help you to visualize what cables need to go where and it will really help you kind of gain a sense of understanding about what repeats are going to happen where. And we're always going to have two regular double crochets in between each set of cables. So here we are working those two regular double crochets right after that single strand cable. And now the single string cables will start looking more like a cable after a while. So now we need to repeat that horned cable. So we have uh, our single string cable, we need a horn cable, and then one more single string cable for the rest of this row. So we're just going to repeat exactly what we did over here with our first horn cable. So we're going to skip two stitches, work two uh, front post triple crochet stitches. So skip two and two front post triples. There's our first and another front post triple here. All of this is written out in the written pattern that is linked in the description box below over on my blog. Um, it does kind of look a bit jargony and it's if you have any trouble reading patterns anyway, um, I would just stick with the video. Honestly, it's a more confusing pattern looking than even the average. It's a little overwhelming when you look at all of the verbiage. So just do it stitch by stitch here with me. Um, pause and rewind as you need to. And I think that that'll help you more than browsing the written pattern unless you're just really proficient at reading patterns. Okay, so we've done, we've gone back and worked our double crochets. We've worked two more double crochets. We're going to skip two. We're working the other side of this horned cable. We've skipped two, we worked two double crochets, now we need to go back and work these two that we skipped. I'm only not walking you through this horn cable again because we just did it. Um, the horn cable actually is always going to be the same. So our single strand cables and our mega cable will change um, from even to odd rows on our four row repeat, but our horn cable is going to stay the same. We're going to do the same order of stitches, and I'll show you that as we move forward, but that's kind of a nice feature of this um, type of cable is that it's kind of always going to be the same. So after we finish our horn cable, we're going to work two regular double crochets, and then we just need one more uh, single strand cable, which again is just a front post double crochet, a regular double crochet, and then a front post. And then as always, we're going to work two regular double crochets on the very end of this row. You should wind up with the perfect amount of stitches and not have any left over. So now we have a front post. And then we just need two more regular double crochets. If you do have stitches left over or you run out of stitches, it's probably because you might have stitched in the wrong spot in one of those areas where we were skipping stitches and then going back and working in them. Um, so definitely double check all your work. So we have a single strand, a horn cable, a single strand, our mega cable here in the middle, a single strand, a horn cable, and another single strand. So it's all very uh, symmetrical and linear here in row one and we've kind of set the foundation to move forward. So with row two, we're gonna chain up two and turn. And I say rows one and two, really this is two and three, but because it's the repeating rows, I'm just gonna call it one and two. So after we've chained two and turn, we're going to double crochet in the first stitch and double crochet in the second stitch. And now in the third stitch where we have that first single strand cable, we have that what was a front post double crochet, but now it's sitting to the back, we're going to work a back post double crochet just to keep that line all sitting on the front of the blanket. We don't want to work a front post here because that's going to pull things in the opposite direction. So work a back post double crochet right where that uh, front post double crochet was on the row below. We're going to work a regular double crochet in the next stitch. And then you guessed it, we're going to do a back post double crochet 
going a little out of frame here, sorry. So a back post double crochet, and then we're going to work regular double crochets in each of the next two stitches. So we can see here that that uh, front post or what was a front post is going to become a back post in this uh, odd number row. Really this is row three. And then regular double crochets in each of the next two stitches. Now for all of the odd number rows, row three being the row we're working right now, any stitch that is sitting to the very front of the fabric, so like these stitches here that were front post stitches, those are sitting to the front of the fabric, those are going to be back post stitches on the odd number rows. So we need to make sure to work back post stitches over any of those ones sitting forward. So these here in the horn cable uh, with these front post triple crochets, those need to be uh, worked in the odd number rows, back post stitches on those, and that's really just kind of keeping the cabling sitting forward on the top of the fabric. So here we're going to work over that horn cable and we're going to back post double crochet over those two uh, front post triple crochets from the row below. And then we have our uh, double crochets that we worked into those skip stitches. We're just going to double crochet over those because they're not sitting to the front of the fabric. So just regular double crochets and we can see here how that's kind of carrying the cable up and extending it. Now we're going to work two regular double crochets because again these next two stitches if you look at the right side of the fabric, we're now working on the wrong side. If you look at the right side those stitches are just making the fabric. It's not sitting up and forward. So again, double crochet in each of the next two because they're not sitting forward. And then we got to the next, uh, the second two triple crochets from our horn cable, so those need back post double crochets. I'm talking you through this in this way instead of saying, you know, back post double crochet two and then double crochet six or whatever, because to me it makes more sense to look at your work and to kind of feel for where the back post double crochets need to be and where the regular double crochets need to be. All of those numbers and the counting is laid out in the written pattern in row three, so if that works better for you, by all means go ahead and follow that. But for me, it makes more sense to kind of look at my fabric and look at my work and decide where the back post double crochets need to be because all of those stitches that are sitting forward, you can see me here working a single strand cable um, and those front post double crochets are going to need back post double crochets now in the odd number row. So I will show you when I get up here to our mega cable, that one is going to be just a touch more tricky, um, so I definitely want to talk you through that. We have our two regular double crochets, and here is our mega cable, and this is what it looks like from the back. We can see that big cross in the center um, on the right side or the front side. So we can see here that these were front post uh, double crochets, those next three stitches. So we're going to go ahead and do back post double crochets on them because again they are sitting forward on the fabric, they're raised and it's kind of a lifted cable style so we know that those need back post double crochets. So we've back post double crocheted in each of the next three stitches and it looks just like that. Now looking at this cross, if we flip it over real quick, we can see that um, kind of the line on the tops of these stitches make a little bit of a squiggle. Now if we stretch that out a little bit we can see that our next three stitches are these stitches sitting toward the back of the fabric or they're kind of facing us a bit more. They're not laying on the top of the right side of the fabric if we flip it over and look at it. So these are going to get regular double crochets. So just in the top of these stitches because this is sitting toward the back of the fabric and when I say the back I mean if you're looking at the right side, the other side, they're sitting behind those are going to get regular double crochets. Now, once we've worked those, we know that the next three stitches are going to need back post double crochets because those are the ones sitting toward the front of the right side of the fabric. They're laying on top and they're the uh, more lifted cables, if that makes any sense at all. So go ahead and back post double crochet over each of the next three. Really all we're trying to do in this odd number row is get back across to the other side of the fabric and across the wrong side and kind of just keep going with whatever we were doing in the row below. Now once we've worked that we need to work three back post double crochets to finish off this mega cable just as we did with the beginning of the mega cable. Again these are stitches that are sitting more lifted and more to the front of the fabric so we need to um, work back post double crochets over those. 
And now we have finished with this mega cable and that's what it should be looking like from the back. And if you, we look at the right side, the front real quick, we can see that uh, the lines on either side and then kind of the cross in the middle. If it doesn't look like that, chances are you need to kind of try again. So moving on, we're gonna double crochet in each of the next two stitches and then we've come to a single strand cable and we're just going to kind of proceed as we have been a back post double crochet over that front post, a regular double crochet in the middle, and then a back post double crochet again. And we're gonna just repeat this as we have. That horned cable is gonna be worked the same way all the way to the end of row three. So go ahead and chain two and turn. We're gonna take a look at the front side of this fabric. Make sure that yours looks like mine because if you try to proceed and it doesn't look exactly right, um, you may run into some more problems. So we can see here that all of the cables look the same as they did when we finished row two. They're just kind of extended and they're a little bit longer. So that's exactly what we want. Now beginning row four, we're gonna double crochet in each of the first two stitches as always. So there's two. And now this is where our single strand cable is going to change just a bit. So instead of just keeping these lines going straight up all the way on the blanket, we want to um, twist them and make them a cable where they're kind of turning and wrapping around each other. And the way we're gonna do that is we're going to skip the next stitch, that first um, kind of front post. We're going to make these cross over each other. So the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna skip the next stitch and the following stitch. We're going to front post triple crochet and we're gonna cross over to this uh, second kind of lifted line cable, which is actually two stitches away. So we're gonna skip two and we're going to front post triple crochet around that cable. So the third stitch from our hook, and we can see now this is kind of crossing over and it's pulling that cable and making it look like it's going to twist. So now what we need to do is work that double crochet that's right there in the middle. So the double crochet that was in, the, in between the two front post stitches, double crochet that one from behind as we have in row one. And now we're going to cross back over the front of the work, cross back the other way, and front post triple crochet in that first skip stitch. Now if you need to pause that and rewind and look at it again, I will do it again for you later on in the blanket, um, but it's really just crossing in front and over. Now double crochet in each of the next two stitches. And that is exactly, by the way, what we're going to do for all of the uh, single strand cables in row four here. So if you got that, if yours looks like mine and it's looking like it's coming up and crossing um, here at the top, then you are right on the money. And that's exactly what you're gonna do with all of the single strand cables in this row. You're just going to do that exact same thing. If you need to take it out and practice it a couple of times, make sure you've got it, that's totally fine. Just pause the video here. Now moving on to the horn cable, we're going to do exactly what we did in um, row two. So we're going to skip two stitches we're going to work two front post triple crochets. So exactly the same. It looks a little bit different because you're working this instead of on top of a row of double crochet like we did in row two. We're working it on top of another row of cabling, but we are doing the same stitches in the same pattern. So we've skipped two. We've worked two front post triple crochets. Again, this is looking kind of diagonal and pulling it. We're going to work behind and double crochet in each of those skipped stitches working first with the one on the right. Regular double crochets here just into the top of the stitch, looking behind. And there's the first side of our horn cable. We're going to double crochet in the next two. And then we need to work the other side of our horn cable. And we can see how this should be looking. So it should look kind of like this uh, second set of cables is kind of coming from the middle of the uh, cabling from row two. So we're going to skip two, work two regular double crochets, and then we're going to front post triple crochet around those two skipped stitches working down and across in front. This is the same kind of method working down and across in the front as we need with those single strand cables and we're going to do another one of those in just a moment. So you'll get to see that again. But you're just kind of, instead of working behind the fabric as we do when we double crochet skipped stitches, when we're doing front post stitches that are skipped, we work down and across in the front. So now two regular double crochets. 
And now we are ready to do another single strand uh, cable. So we're going to do that same thing that we did. We can see how our horn cable is looking. It should look kind of wavy. Um, and then now we're ready for the next single strand cable. We're going to do the same thing we did over here. Um, so let's go ahead and try this again. We're going to skip the first two stitches. Front post triple crochet. We're going to work the double crochet that sits in between the two front post stitches from the back. And then work down and across over the front to work another front post triple crochet. Again, make sure that your tension is a little loose here. We don't want anything tight and bunching. So just go ahead and complete that single strand cable. We're going to double crochet in each of the next two as always. And now we're ready for the mega cable. So we can see how this should be looking. Comes up and crosses and should look just like the first single strand cable from this row. So as long as all of that is looking similar, we are ready to go um, with the center of this blanket and this mega cable. Now this row, um, row four, working the mega cable is probably the hardest part of this whole blanket. So take a deep breath and get ready. Um, in row two, we had our two sets of straight cabling and then the cross in the middle. Now what we're going to see is two crosses. So we're going to cross the first three and the second three, and then the third set of three and the fourth set of three. So instead of straight, cross, cross, straight, we're going to cross, 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 cross. Hopefully that makes sense. If it doesn't, just follow along with me stitch by stitch. It's difficult to explain, but once you do it, you'll see what I'm talking about. So we're going to skip the next three stitches. We're going to front post triple crochet the next three stitches. So these are the ones that were front post triple crochet from row two and should already be sitting toward the front of our fabric. So there's the second and the third. These should all already be kind of lifted and sitting toward the front of the fabric, easy to see and grab. Now we need to go back and work these three that were skipped. So we have our three kind of at a slant and a diagonal, front post triple crochets. And now we need to create the same kind of cross shape over here with these skipped stitches. So what we're going to do is we're going to cross down in front and work these three skipped front post triple crochet. So each of these three we're going to start with the far right one, cross down and over in the front, grab the post of that stitch so you can see I'm crossing down and over. We're working front post triple crochets now Make sure your tension is loose. And that's how that stitch should be looking. Now work the second. Again, always starting with the one furthest to the right. So here is the second stitch. Again, front post triple crochet. And then this third one might be kind of trying to poke behind, but if you kind of stretch the fabric, you should be able to see it pretty easily. So there's our third front post triple crochet. Now we can see that this has become a nice cross. We can see that these stitches are crossing over each other. Now we're going to do exactly the same thing in these, this next set of six stitches. So we're gonna skip the next three, so these three that are sitting behind. We're skipping those for now. We're going to work front post triple crochets over the next three stitches, the following three after we've skipped three. So skip those three sitting toward the back Work front post triple crochets, again, loose tension here over those three what were front post double crochets from before. So this, you should be working the last three stitches in the mega cable at this point, the ones furthest to the left side. So there's our first, our three front post triple crochet stitches. Now we need to cross over and in front again, but we need to grab these three stitches that are sitting toward the back of this fabric and they're going to be kind of hidden. You kind of have to move these stitches aside and find them back there. Um, but once you kind of stretch it out, you'll definitely see them poking through. It might help to kind of poke them forward from the back with your left hand. Go ahead and grab that stitch. Again, we're working front post triple crochets here, just as we did at the beginning of this mega cable in row four. 
Front post triple crochet each of these stitches starting with the one furthest to the right. You may need to take a moment and make sure you can find each of these stitches back there. And this last one is going to be the most hidden, but it is back there. You just kind of have to stretch things open and poke it forward. And it will all line up and look really nice in just a few minutes. So just give it a chance. At this point it might look like a mess, but that's okay. It will turn out looking beautiful really, really soon. So double crochet in each of the next two stitches and breathe a sigh of relief. We have done um, basically all we're going to do with the mega cable now at this point where it's a matter of repeating um, what we've just done. So if you have something that looks like this and you finish that mega cable so far in row four, give yourself a pat on the back because that is the hardest part for sure. So now we have a single strand cable here that we need to cross over. We're going to repeat the same situation with the horn cable and then another single strand cable over here. So go ahead and just repeat all of this the way that we did at the beginning of row four. If you need to rewind here and watch it again, please feel free to. Once you've finished row four, we have our single strand cables and our horn cable here looking very nice. We're going to chain two, as always, and turn. And for row five, we're going to basically do the same thing we did for row three. So we're going to double crochet in each of the next two stitches. And then just like with row three, we're going to back post double crochet over anything that is raised. So starting row five, we are going to back post double crochet over that first raised stitch, which is the third stitch in the row. And anything that is a cable sitting toward the front of the work, just go ahead and back post double crochet over any of those cables. And again, the written pattern linked in the description box below uh, will line up exactly how many, you know, work two double crochets and then back post double crochet and then double crochet and so on and so forth and line it all out by numbers. But if you are kind of in sync with this pattern at all at this point, you should be able to just kind of look at it um, and determine where those back post double crochets need to go because it's always the ones that are raised and sitting most toward the front of the fabric. I will work across here just to show you um, how to work row five over the mega cable in the middle because that can be quite confusing. Um, so I want to make sure that I help you as much as I can with that. But we're going to work across this horn cable first. As always, back post double crochet over those stitches that were treble crochet, front post treble crochet, and then just regular double crochets across the middle of the horn cable here, all of those stitches sitting toward the back. A good rule of thumb for this, for the odd number rows where you're working across the wrong side of the fabric, is if the stitch below is a post stitch, so a front post anything, front post double crochet or front post triple crochet, it's going to need a back post double crochet here on the odd number rows. So no matter what you did or what row is below when you're working across the wrong side, if it is a post stitch, a front post stitch of any sort, it's probably going to need a back post double crochet. So here we've worked across the horn cable. I'm working across the back of the uh, single strand cable just before the mega cable in the middle. Regular double crochet, one more back post double crochet. And now we need two more regular double crochets and we will be ready to stitch our mega cable from the wrong side. So now we have uh, row five worked almost halfway. We've gotten to our mega cable here and we can see that just as with um, row two where we had the two straight sides and the cross in the middle, here it's very similar. We just have two crosses. So we can see here that the tops of these stitches are going to kind of guide us with what needs to be worked first. The tops of these stitches are telling us that we need to work these front post triple crochets first, the ones that are sitting toward the front. So these next three stitches are going to get back post double crochets because they are sitting toward the very front of the fabric. Now after we work these three back post double crochets, 
even though the next three stitches originally in row four were um, front post triple crochets, because they're sitting toward the back, these ones back here, we're going to go ahead and just work regular double crochets into them. So basically, if the cable is sitting toward the very front of the fabric, sitting on top, it gets a back post double crochet. If it is sitting behind, or in this case closest to us while we're looking at the back side of the fabric, then that gets a regular double crochet. So at this point for the mega cable, we've worked across half of it, the first cross, and now we need to just repeat what we've done. So we need to back post double crochet, in each of these next three stitches because those are the ones sitting most forward when you're looking at the right side of the fabric. So there's two and three. Back post double crocheting and then we have three regular double crochets to work over these stitches that are sitting toward the back of the fabric. Two and three. So now this is how our mega cable should be looking. If we look at the right side just real quick, it should still look kind of the same, just kind of extended um, and a little bit elongated from what it looked like just before we worked um, this wrong side of it. So go ahead and just repeat as you have been, continue on till the end of this row, and then all you're going to do is repeat rows two through five until you've reached row 49. So you have done all four rows of the four row repeat and we are just going to go back to row two once we have finished row five here. So here's the end of row five. I've chained up two in turn. I want to show you what the front side of this fabric should look like and how to get started with your repeat before I send you off uh, out on your own to repeat this and complete this blanket. So we can see here how the horn cable should be looking. We're just going to be repeating the same thing with our horn cable. Um, going back to row two. So if we go back and look at row two, remember that we did two double crochets and then we did regular front post double crochets here. And what that's gonna do with these single strand cables is it's just gonna kind of extend the length of them and make them longer before they twist. And I really like that long, thin, uh, kind of extended look to these single strand cables. I think it looks really great. So we're just going to continue with row two. If you're still a bit iffy on this pattern and you're able to follow it with me stitch by stitch, go ahead and rewind to the very beginning of this video and watch me start over and just keep following the exact same stitches I'm doing, but continue on with your blanket. And if you need to do that all the way through row 49, go right ahead. That's why this video is here. It's better than an in-person class because you can rewind. So go ahead and continue everything the way that we've done it. I want to show you here um, working the mega cable when we're repeating. So we can see here what the horn cable looks like once we've started to repeat. There's our single strand cable. And now when we get to the middle cable, it's going to look barely, barely different going back and repeating row two through this mega cable and doing those straight sides and the cross in the middle because now we're not working over plain double crochets from round row one. We're going to be working over an existing cable which is slightly more complicated. So here we're ready to start our mega cable. Here are our first three stitches of the mega cable and what we're gonna do is we're gonna repeat the same stitches that we worked in row two but it's gonna just look a little different so I wanna show you. We're going to front post double crochet in each of the first three stitches, two, and three, and this is going to be a little bit of an area that's sitting toward the back of the fabric. So that's how that should be looking. It's going to pull it forward a little bit. We're going to skip the next three stitches, and we're going to front post treble crochet these the following three stitches, which will be again sitting a little bit toward the back. So front post triple crochet. We've skipped those stitches that are sitting more toward the front. We're working in these stitches that are a little bit more toward the back and pulling those forward from the back is going to uh, really create this woven look that the mega cable has in the middle. So now remember in row two, we work behind to work some regular double crochets into the tops of the skipped three stitches. So look behind in each of those three skipped stitches, one, two, and three, we're gonna regular double crochet. One, starting with the far right side, two, 
and make sure that you are working here on the tops of the skipped stitches when you're looking at it from the back like this it can be a little confusing so make sure you're matching that up with the skipped stitches now we're going to just work regular front post double crochets over the last three stitches in the mega cable area and those are going to be ones that are sitting a little bit more toward the front of the fabric so we're just going to kind of extend this up and now moving forward when you repeat row four and you work on this mega cable again from the right side that's going to be a little bit more straightforward because that's what we were used to working with so now we're just going to complete this row again repeating row two i've shown you how to do the single strand cable i've shown you what the horn cable should look like and now i've shown you how to uh, move on repeating these rows when you're working from existing cables instead of from a straight row of double crochet so go ahead and again repeat rows two through five until you've reached row 49 i'm going to work up a couple of more rows and show you a little bit of progress and what your cables should be looking like so um and once you reach 49 you're just going to single crochet evenly around the perimeter of your blanket and create a little bit of a border i work three rounds of single crochet you don't have to add a border you can leave a rough edge but here is the a little bit of progress so i've finished the repeat of rows two through five again so right now i am at row nine and we can see here how the cables are looking how our horn cable is looking our single strand this is how our mega cable should look in the middle quite twisty and turny and beautiful we can really see at this point how the cables are turning out and at this point if your blanket looks like mine at all just keep going with it you are on the right track and if you have any issues i bet they can be answered by going back to the beginning of this super long video um, and watching again and watching every stitch individually. I tried to do a really, really thorough video because I know that this is a much more advanced pattern than um, you're used to seeing from me. And then here is your finished blanket. I wanted to show you kind of a bird's eye view of what it looks like with all of the cables done, all of the stitching done, and that three rounds of single crochet border around the edges. And this photo is after I've used it quite a bit. It's very snugly and cozy and a very good um, heirloom style blanket that will be, I'm sure, enjoyed by all of your friends and family members throughout the winter holiday season. Make sure to grab your kit from lionbrand.com at the link in my description box below and visit my blog for the written pattern for this awesome crochet blanket. I hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe.